my channel is not about me. My channel is about you. It's about me passing on to you what I've learned or what I know how to do. In this channel, that's all you're going to find is encouragement. You got this. You can do it. I believe in you. I've purchased this magazine rack because I had a viewer ask me to do one. I do have one that I did before, but I was inspired to do one in a different color. My husband's already sanded it and it's good to go. I love the, the little arch here. That's very pretty. I love that it has this off the ground and this whole area here is very beautiful. And I'll show you the one I made before. I have a video of this one. If you want to have a look at it, I will definitely put it uh, in the link below in the description box. This one was quite simple. I just did checks. I did it all in black inside. As you can see, I have magazines in there. And then I did the accents here in gold all around and here. And I did in here and of course the handle. Stripes here and I did some polka dots in gold and red here. And I am going to make this one a little bit different. We're gonna do this one today. I already shook it a little bit. I'm going to be using that same green I used on the table. I really like that. And since this is for my office, I really wanted to tie in with that. Oh my goodness. I love this green. I didn't really think I would. And I totally, totally love it. Where I am right now, it's three o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep. So, you know, my friend Google uh, just plays Mozart or Bach for me and she keeps me company. But yeah, I just I just couldn't sleep, so here we are. Anyway, now this might take two or three coats. I'm going to do the sides here as well. I'm gonna do the insert. I know I painted this down here, the cream color, but I'm changing it to the green. Just remember that when you're painting, plants change along the way, so you just go with it, you try different things, and you sometimes fall in love with something else. I'll let it dry overnight. You know, four o'clock in the morning, it's time to go to bed. I had actually painted this part here in a drop cloth from Dixie Belle, and I changed my mind, and then I got just plain white. I'm going to now, just to give it a bit of a texture, and I'm gonna do the same to this side. Close to the bottom and the edges. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Don't think that we're done. This is far from done. This is just the beginning. Now I'm gonna give the last coat. I'm not leaving anything exposed. I'm actually going to paint it all. Okay, so while this is drying, I am so conflicted. I have some, and these are some of the beautiful stencils inside. And then I also have this one from Belle. It has some really nice ones too. So it's got some beautiful, nice purples, but I was putting here and it's, it's a little too big. So that one is not a go. And then I thought about this one, putting it here. That would look pretty. Might be a little, little too big for here. We're gonna put that one aside. So that's a no-go for this one. Then we've got these ones. I love IOD so much. They're one of the easiest ones to attach. If you've never used the IOD, I truly recommend it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What does this say? I don't know what this says, but it's pretty. What do I do? What do I do? I was contemplating putting a napkin here and here. I don't know. Maybe this needs something a little bit more bold. Well, I decided to go with the IOD, and it's from this IOD pattern. It's IOD lot 10 to 16 from this package. And I've chosen this rose because it has a lot of green and I think it's gonna be really nice here. This here is still wet and I need another coat in other uh, areas, but this here is dry. So we're gonna go ahead. 
If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you enjoy this video, I would ask that you consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean so much to me. And it's my birthday in July. I'm still six months away, but I am hoping to get to 5,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It would mean so, so much to me. It would definitely make my uh, birthday wish come true. Now you guys know how much I love Mackenzie Childs, but I really don't want to do any black and white checks on this because I really love the way it is and I think it's going to match perfectly with my uh, table that I did for my office. I do have this uh, ribbon that's black and white and I thought I would add it in here and we're going to do that and see how it turns out. So I'm just going to hot glue a little bit of glue along the side here. I do have to press it in. Oh, I like the way that's turning out. So we're gonna turn it here. This is where I've placed it for now in my office. I am in the middle of redoing my office. This is just a temporary setup. I did want to do uh, or have projects ready so that when the office is complete, 
I can just add in my accessories. Two of my accessories that I've done so far is of course this um, uh, magazine rack. And I wanna thank the viewer who suggests that I do a magazine rack on you. You guys give me such inspiration. I did the other one in checks and then this one, I didn't want checks. I wanted something totally different and this was totally different. It still has that black and white uh, reminiscence of, of course, the Mackenzie Childs inspired. I incorporated that green from the table into the magazine rack. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of it. Would you do it like this? Let me know, would you have gone with a purple one or would you have gone with this one? I DIY everything, but with a special focus on Mackenzie Childs inspired and Alice in Wonderland pieces. If this is the kind of content that you like to watch, please consider subscribing, hit that red button below and hit the bell, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified the next time I upload. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week. Take care of each other. Thank you for spending some time with me and be safe. And always remember that you want to reach a point in your life when you say remember when and never ever I wish I did. We'll see you next time.